Okay, today I'm going to be reviewing the Global Sun Oven uh, from Sun Ovens International. I did uh, purchase the preparedness kit with the dehydrating and turkey roasting package. Uh, it does come with the uh, two bread loaf pans uh, that you can see featured here, as well as uh, two three quart pots. So one does come here with a glass lid and uh, the other with the metal lid. I have yet to use those. Uh, here earlier this week I did uh, bake. Uh, two loaves of uh, golden bound bread uh, from my ground wheat here in the, uh, the uh, loaf pans. It did also come uh, with a CD-ROM with over 300 recipes. Uh, the CD-ROM was uh, interestingly put together. It's uh, one large uh, PDF document uh, of recipes as well as uh, some other files. It did come with some pre-cooking uh, instructions, of course, uh, using three cups of vinegar uh, that you basically uh, cook out to uh, cleanse the inside of the sun oven. I uh, did come with uh, the racks here, which I have yet to even take out, the dehydrating racks, and then of course the uh, turkey rack. You can cook uh, an 18-pound turkey here in this rack. It uh, hangs like so uh, within the uh, the sun oven. Additionally, it did come with the uh, multi-fuel uh, water pasteurization indicator with some instructions on that. Uh, the instructions uh, for the global sun oven are very well put together, plain uh, plain English, and uh, well put together in terms of their frequently asked questions here and uh, among other things. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, the oven here. Uh, the outer trim is made out of a very hard uh, poplar wood. It does have a handle here on the front uh, for carrying. Uh, this strap here does uh, come down and uh, affix to the front uh, to allow the, uh, the reflective panels uh, to be securely uh, attached uh, during transport. On the back, if you'll look here, there is um, uh, several uh, holes here as well as a leg uh, that uh, could, does come out of the bottom uh, to allow for a greater angle, particularly in times of winter when the sun's very low. Let's go ahead and open the, uh, the sun oven up and I'll give you a sense of how it uh, comes together. All of the panels are actually affixed uh, together. I'm going to see if I can do this here with, with, uh, with one hand. As you can tell this comes down here does affix uh, right here at the bottom uh, with this uh, with this bolt uh, that uh, does sit here. This is to be lifted up and, and sat down on here. It's to be twisted and affixed. It doesn't do very well in the wind. I did have some uh, 10 to 15 mile an hour gusts that I did blow it around a little bit. As you can tell there's a thermometer here that uh, I did keep pretty consistently at about uh, 300 to 325 during the during the baking process uh, of that bread. There is a, a rubber seal here where the glass mounts very, very tight and uh, airtight uh, within the uh, inside of the oven. And there are these um, uh, clamps here that if you'll push down very firmly um, that fasten uh, the glass to that. So let's go ahead and look in the oven. If you'll lift the uh, glass lid open, you'll see that uh, there is a small tray uh, the rotates on these bolts so that as you increase as you increase the angle of the oven so you can see the tray will start to swing uh, to keep your food level so there's not any any spilling didn't have any problem with that with the bread this is uh, all uh, anodized aluminum I believe and uh, this oven can hold an 18 pound turkey it uh, also can of course do the the pots that uh, that I uh, showed as well in terms of the cooking time, uh, I brought uh, this particular oven uh, on a sunny day from about uh, 56 degrees Fahrenheit uh, when I started uh, up to about 220 minutes and uh, within an hour, which is a little longer than the manual said, but within an hour I had it to around 300 degrees consistently. Interestingly though, as I opened the lid and quickly uh, put in the uh, two loaves of bread, uh, keep in mind I did it on another morning uh, when it was quite cold, it was in the 40s, uh, but very sunny and um, just opening the lid for 20 to 25 seconds to get the two loaves of bread in a, in a fixed in position uh, did drop the oven down about 30 degrees and uh, it didn't quite get back up to temperature in the time that I needed it baked the bread fine but keep in mind as you're placing your food in the oven that you do so quickly so as not to lose too much heat because it does take some time to continue to uh, to heat back up to temperature and it may be longer than uh, longer than you have to cook it on the outside, uh, it's really well constructed uh, in terms of just it's like a hard polycarbonate plastic, and uh, it does it does last uh, a lifetime according to what they say if it's kept well and, and clean. I did hear from some other uh, solar um, solar cooker experts, if we can call them that, 
that um, they do oil this poplar wood because it does get dry and potentially tend to crack over the years and so one particular uh, son oven cooker that does this pretty consistently weekly in his home I talked about oiling it intermittently. I've been really impressed with the sun oven so far. It looks like it's very well built and will last for years to come. I've enjoyed the food that I've had and look forward to uh, doing other dishes in it uh, while out off the grid and uh, here at home. That's all for this review. If uh, you've liked the review and the footage here, go ahead and uh, rate it and like it. Be well. Blue skies.